Will. Now let's get to Will Smith. Uh, he was sitting down doing a podcast talking about the meaning of life. And this is an interesting one because I have no answer. <laughs> Maybe Will Smith does. Let's listen to him talk about the meaning of life. <laughs> Y'all going to leave Will Smith alone. That man different, bro. Look how he commands moments. Like, look at the power he possesses in moments to, it's not always having the right answer, but the right approach to find the right answer, right? And his approach, I got to salute because you could tell he's well-versed, definitely well-experienced, and, and more encompassing than the typical celebrity influencer in terms of, you can see his scope is wider, right? More latitude. Knowing all those religions, having all those experiences, uh, just watching them over the years, uh, that's a lot. And what he tried to answer right then and, and what we're attempting to talk about right now is the meaning of life. What's the meaning of life? Well, I think one thing that jumped off on that clip was is self-definition. So if you look back, and, and, and you don't have to study all the religions, but it helps for your perspective so you can see the similarities, you can see the commonalities. What starts to happen is you realize that the ultimate power given to man was choice. The ultimate power we were given is to choose between God and devil, right? You even get to choose to be alive. Think about it. The biggest gift you were given was life. Now, the biggest gift you were able to attain while in life, while living, is choice. You choose to do everything, including stay alive, including be happy. Because something could hit you, and it could be just the sour, most nasty lemon ever, or it could be the sweetest of lemonade. You choose. When you're growing up broke, I say it, a lot of people say it, you don't even know how broke you are because you feel rich, because you don't have that perspective. You don't have that contrast, right? You chose to be happy, despite your circumstances not suggesting you should be happy. Right? You ever been somewhere everybody else is complaining? You're like, it's all right. You are choosing to look at it differently. Optimist, pessimist. The definition of life, meaning of life, comes down to how you're going to define it. Basically, how you're going to choose to define it. It's your choice to define your life. Woo! That's powerful. You want to know why? Hold on. you trying to tell me, you gave me life? I don't know how long, but I got it right now and I can choose what to do with it, and I can choose how good it is, how great it is, how bad it is. You ever drive and see a homeless person? And I say drive, because most of the time you ain't walking. <laughs> like, you see them sometimes, but goddamn. I'm talking about you driving, and you see a homeless person. And look at this. Why I say driving? One, they're camped out in encampment. You driving, you in a vehicle. Do you know how luxurious it is, affluent it is to have a car? Who grew up on a bus? Yeah. A bus? <laughs> this is crazy. I remember always thinking this. You're sitting at a bus stop, 6 a.m. The bus comes at 6.12. It takes you across town from L.A. to Santa Monica. You'll get there at 6.46. You got to the bus stop at 6 o'clock, waiting on the 612 bus to get to Santa Monica at 646. It's early. That's why I ain't no traffic. Now, later, it, it take longer. 46 minutes. What time did you wake up? What time did you have to start walking to the bus stop, etc.? A whole hour plus gone just to get there. You got a car? 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Bah! You already unsaved almost an hour of your day. Just because you got a car, the affluence. I ain't going to go that, that rabbit hole. That's another conversation. But you're driving by that homeless person. And you're looking at him. And you're like, huh. 
And if y'all saw Snowfall, the last episode, when Franklin, the kingpin, became Franklin, a squatter, homeless person, you start to realize how thin that line is between success and failure. And it's your choice. Because you easily could let go of the rope. One thing I know about this world and the meaning of life, I can let go of the rope. And we're all homeless, we're all broke, all could be on drugs, etc. Like despair is when you let go of the rope. Like desolate, when you're, when you're in that position, Somehow, some way, you let go of the rope. Addiction. You shouldn't have tried it the first time. That's why I've never done anything but alcohol and marijuana. Because <laughs> I'm like, I am not trying something that, let's just say, I know a lot of people messed up their life trying that. Oh, I'm going to be the one that tried it and it's all good. I already assumed it's all bad. So I never went beyond that. Point being, look at that person. The meaning of life is to hold on to that rope, tie knots so it's harder to let it go and pull yourself up as high as you can. And it's your choice how high, your choice what lane, your choice to pull where. Crazy. So I love what Will Smith said, (coughs) quiet, silence. Take it all in that's coming at you. Now, what is your process? What is your process, sir? What is your perspective of what is all coming at you? That's the meaning of life. Because you're going to be the one that defines it. Self-definition. And all the religions say it. And that's what you start to learn in this life. As you go around this planet, as you go around on your one lap of life, you start to realize how much power you really have as you were made in the image. And that power and that image is put in you. And that's the meaning of life. Dope. It hit me right there, man. Let's talk through this um, in the comments. Meaning of my life is simple. Uh, Climb as high as I can, run as fast as I can, my leg of this relay. And then hand that baton off to Maraca, MJ, Araya, and Olivia. Life. Now, how do I look at life? I look at life simple as this. It's all on me. Why? Because it's God in me. Why? Because God put himself here for me to express my power, his power given to me. Simple as that. You ain't got to agree. Remember, it's a self-definition. You can doubt that. That's why I always talk to the kids and I say this. I said, I'm here because I believe in you. You can become anything. Right then, some of y'all didn't believe that. And that's your answer. That will be your life. You doubting it? That's your outcome. (laughs) And they go, whoa, what is he doing inside my head? I'm not inside your head. You are. Your choice. That's your meaning of your life. Beat it up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Let's get into it and have some fun. All right, coming up next on Never Shut Up, we're going to talk to Dr. Chow, and then we're going to funk up some comments, hit you with a wildism, and I'm going to get these kids dressed. That's life. <laughs> Meaning of life really is getting kids dressed and get, go to these high-ass, expensive private schools. That's what life is. All right, y'all. See y'all in a sec, man. Come back. Never Shut Up on Briggs TV and Reach TV. Let go.